Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have this 2021 Ford Ranger. This is a XLT 301A package and it's finished in Oxford white. So with the 301A package, you also get the sport appearance package, which has this cool, I think it's magnetic gray grill and also this magnetic gray painted lower portion. So I think that makes it look really nice. The hood looks kind of cool with the two little, uh, I don't know what you call the two little bulges in the hood. But coming around here to the side, look at the wheel and tire setup. We have 255 65 R17s with this magnetic gray painted wheel. I think that's a pretty cool design as well. This one is two wheel drive. See it just says sport on the back there. XLT with the magnetic gray around that as well. No side steps, running boards, anything like that. It is a crew cab says sport on the back right there this is a five foot box no sliding rear window anything like that and just all standard bolts for the third brake light and if we look inside here the payload is 1744 and then you guys can check this out if you want i'm not sure what the exact towing is on it but i think it can tow 7500 pounds because it does have the trailer tow package Looking at the back here, you do get all LEDs for the taillights, which is cool. So you have an LED turn signal, you have LED brake lights and taillights, and then you also have an LED reverse light as well. I do like the way they did the rear design on the Rangers. Backup camera and backup sensors because it has the 301A package. There's a trailer tow package like I told you about. And like I said, I think it's 7,500 pounds. If I'm wrong, please do correct me. Let's open this up real quick. It's not dampened, anything like that. Excuse the airplane noises. But yeah, this one does not have a spray in bed line or anything like that. Just regular bed. But it is easy to open this tailgate. It's not like it's heavy, anything like that. Take one last little look at the side here. I forgot I'm filming on a GoPro now so I don't have to get so far away anymore. Window sticker, I will pop up a picture so you guys can see that. But let's go ahead and uh, check under the hood here. All right guys, just pop the hood. You do get hydraulic hood shuts, which is really nice. And you also get a hood liner up there. No engine cover, anything like that. This is the 2.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder, 270 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. It has a 373 axle ratio, and it gets 21 city, 26 highway, 23 combined. Like I mentioned, it is a two wheel drive model. All right guys, just open up the door here. You can see it does have a hard touch up here, but it is soft right here. You do get the cloth material. Automatic up down for the driver's window only. The passenger window, all the other ones are just regular. You get a little door pocket in there. And then looking at the seats, since this one is a 301A and not a 302A, you still get a manual seat, but that's not too bad. I mean, it's easy to adjust it. You do get these nicer cloth seats. They call it the premium cloth, I think. You have your mirror controls over here, lighting controls, all that good stuff. You have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Let's go ahead and hop inside here. All right guys, the key is still a switchblade, so go ahead and put that in there like that. Start it up. You can see it gets the, there's actually three different gauge clusters for the Rangers. There's the base model one, which has the tiny screen in the middle. And then there's this one, which has the bigger screen in the middle. And there's also a digital one, which has the big speedometer in the middle and two screens on the side. But this one is the mid gauge cluster and I think this one looks really nice actually. You can choose some different stuff right here. It has all the same features as the high end ones, it's just on this smaller screen instead of the two separate screens. We do get lane keep assist on this one, you can see right there. Looking at the steering wheel here, cruise control, all that good stuff, and it is leather wrapped. See there, it has a nice leather stitching. That's part of the 301A. And if you look over here, you do get the sync 8 inch 3.4 screen, which is fairly responsive. Um, sometimes you have to click it a couple times for it to get quick, but it's fairly responsive. It's good. Looking down here, you have dual zone climb control on this one. You have two 12 volts and also two USBs down there. And then you also get your trash control right here, your trailer tow mode, and then your automatic, your auto start stop turn off right there. Here's your gear shifter. You do have manual select on the side. You just have a standard parking brake. It's not wrapped in leather or anything like that. And then your two cup holders right there. It has this cool trim. It's kind of like a metallic, like silver look. 
and you do have a little storage up there. Opening this up, it has it's actually pretty deep in there. There's no light, anything like that. You do get a pin holder. And then looking over here, no light in there either, but it is pretty big. Looking up top here, you do get an automatic dimming rear view mirror since this is a 301A. LED lighting for the inside, glasses holder. Let's check this out. Okay, so there's no lighting, but you do get vanity mirrors. Give you guys one last little look at the inside here. It is a tan headliner, no sunroof, anything like that. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat. All right, guys, looking at the back seat, it does have door locks back here as well, which is interesting. But you get soft touch right here, you get the cloth material, it's still hard touch up here, little door pocket. And then uh, there's not a whole bunch of room back here, but if there's shorter people, you can definitely fit back here just fine. Um, this one also has this 110 volt, which is part of the 301A package. Then you get these two USBs back here. Do you get a fold down center armrest? But the back seat can definitely work if you need it to, or if you're shorter, but if you're tall like me, like I'm gonna try to get in here. I have a seat adjusted for me in the front. Let's see if I can fit. Um, sorta. Not really, to be honest, it's kind of uncomfortable. Let's go ahead and get up out of here. All right, guys, we talked about the Ranger. I showed you the Ranger. Let's go ahead and uh, take this Ranger for a spin and see how it is. So trans, I'll admit, is a little funky on the Rangers. Um, they always have been. I don't know why, but they're not the smoothest in the Rangers. Let's see, I think if you click this, yeah, it starts showing the gears now. So now I can see what gear it's in. It rides pretty good. I do like the way the hood looks and the mirrors are huge. So you can definitely see out those mirrors. But yeah, it rides like a truck, but like it definitely doesn't bother me. No paddle shifters or anything on this one. Well, obviously, because it's over here. I don't think Rangers do come with paddle shifters. So auto start stop just came on. It was pretty seamless. We'll see how it is when we get going again, but I do like this leather wheel. Although the cross stitching, even though it looks really nice, um, it is kind of scratchy, if that makes sense. Like, if you rub your hand up against it, it is kind of scratchy. Just something to keep in mind. Well, yeah, visibility is really good in the Ranger. Um, I'm, I'm tall, so it's a little bit tight in here, but definitely no problem. Like, I don't see it being a problem. Others might think it's a problem, but I definitely don't think it is. Let's go ahead and roll onto some throttle here. <laughs> you can even hear some turbo noise out there. Yeah, the ranges are actually really impressive with power. They have a, a lot of low end torque, which is what you want in a pickup truck. Let's see how the suspension is, if it bounces around a whole bunch. Yeah, you can see it kind of bounces around. I kind of don't like that. But the Rangers, like I said before, has always done that. Um, if I get a chance to review a Ranger Tremor, I'll definitely have to check that out to see if the suspension is different. Brakes feel okay, they're a little bit spongy, but they feel okay. I think the main thing that they need to improve for the Ranger is they, make, they need to make the transmission more smooth. They need to make the suspension not as bouncy all over the place. And then update the interior and I think the Ranger would be perfect. Because the outside looks updated enough in my opinion. Um, they can definitely do some updating if they want, but um, definitely the interior can get updated. And then like I said, the suspension and all that stuff. I don't know why the transmission is not as smooth as it is in other cars. I guess it's just the way it's tuned in the Ranger, but that's always confused me. Let's go ahead and put in S here. We got our back road over here. Can give us some. <laughs> Yeah, the Ranger is really impressive as far as power is concerned. 
Like this is actually, I'd legitimately say that this truck is actually fast. At least it feels fast. Let's go ahead and drop down some speed here. See, there's no one behind us. I mean, we'll come to a stop here. And uh, I see no, there's someone coming now. But let's go ahead and just dip onto it a little bit here. Yeah. I'm not flooring it, I'm barely on the gas. It's just holding the gears. But yeah, it definitely has lots of torque. That's really impressive. Let's go ahead and put it back in drive here. <laughs> These mirrors are huge. I do like them though. Go ahead and slip in here. We're gonna take a corner up here when we get the chance and uh, see how the suspension is. One thing for someone tall like me is that this area right here kind of comes out far. So your, your knee kind of rubs up against this area, at least for me, and then this handle kind of comes out far. So it is a little bit tight, but I mean, if, if, if they made this like more padded or something like that, then it probably wouldn't be as bad. But yeah, the trans is just too jerky in the Rangers. That's what I don't like. And the throttle response is weird too. But it is quick though. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can take this corner. If this Accord gets out of the way. Let's see how it handles. <laughs> I mean, it handles fine for a pickup truck, I guess. I mean, I took the quarter fine. It didn't get any tire squeal or anything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed my little review of this 2021 Ranger. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.